In this video, I want to talk about some of the different options we have for model attachments. Now, a model attachment is something that allows a hinge articulator to attach to that model. Um, so let's get started. So we can look over here into select attachments. We've got lots of pretty cool stuff. We have an articulator slot for glipping, clipping or gluing. Um, that's for quadrant models. Um, extended articulator slots are for full arch models. Support pins are what we're going to end up using. That's a very common way of printing a kind of articulator to keep the models together on a Geller model. And the twister ball adapter is also used for a, a non-disposable articulator for quadrants. Um, before we get into that, I want to talk a little bit about text. Text is pretty cool. So if you click on text, you can just um, type in your name. Let's say August is cool. And we can add the text and we can just set the position and there I am upside down but still I'm cool. Um, we can also uh, remove that if we don't want that. Let's go back over to attachments and we can go ahead and let's go ahead and start with extended articulator slot for clipping. What this means is we'll have a little clip that just sort of is press fit in. Uh, we can just go ahead and click on the model. We can move that. If we hold the control button, we can move that into position. It's red because it's not touching the model. And now you just want it to touch the model. We can do the exact same thing on the bottom. We can add one as well. Uh, we can just click that, move that into position, and hit control and get that where we want to go. Okay, But for the sake of this exercise, we're going to do more traditional uh, pins on the Geller model. So we can come over here and click on support pins and hit one here, hit one here, and hit one here. You may notice that uh, some are tan and some are red. So uh, we want them to be out away from the model a little bit. All right. So we'll hit OK, and it'll take us to the next step. 